Hi, second grade. We are going to go on a field trip today and meet a fashion designer. And she's a fiber artist and she designs costumes and ball gowns for Mardi Gras and dresses and clothing, all kinds of cool things. Her name is Suzanne Bro, and she's going to tell you about her process, how she comes up with ideas how she works with customers, and what you might do for yourself to spark some ideas if you are interested in becoming a fashion designer. We're gonna go to her studio. Come on, let's go. Let's meet Suzanne Bro. Hi guys, my name is Suzanne Bro, and I'm a fiber artist. What makes, you know, what makes me an artist? It's because I use my imagination. We all can be artists. All we have to do is get an idea, figure out how to make it come to life, and there you go, you're an artist. I've been making clothes and working with fibers since I was a little kid, probably your age. And my grandmother taught me to sew, and my mother bought machines and looms for me to sew on, and I was lucky enough to really really enjoy it so now what I'm doing I'm making Mardi Gras costumes I'm weaving I make film costumes I make crazy things you name it so I want to share with you some of the things that I do with the fabrics I collect so we live in South Louisiana and once a year we have Mardi Gras and once a year, I get a group of people who will come to me and say, will you make me a costume? And I'll ask them, what sort of costume? And they say, well, I think I want to be a pirate. And I'll go, well, what kind of pirate? They said, a scary pirate. So the first thing I do is I will take their measurements and I will see just how big they are and I'll go, okay, let's make you a frock coat. Let's get you a pirate hat. Do you want a patch? And that's how a costume starts. And I work with them and we go and develop the costume and not only does it become my costume, but it's mostly their costume. So what I'd like to do today is I wanna give, I'm gonna ask you to create a costume in your mind and I'm gonna show you a fabric and I want you to think about what kind of costume would you make with this fabric. First fabric I'm gonna show you. Let's see, hmm, this one. Now, if you had a choice and you could make a costume, what would you make out of this? Think about it. We could call this costume number one. You know what I would do with this one? You see all the movement and all the light? I would probably make a 1920s uh, flapper girl costume out of that. And I would get you in here and I would fit it on you and get you a little feather in your hair and then you would be a little flapper girl. Wouldn't that be fun? And what I would also do is I would give you a sketch and I'm gonna sketch really fast and I'm gonna hold it up for you. So what's gonna happen is, this is kind of a girl costume but we're gonna get to you fellas soon too. But what we do, we're going to just get a, a little body shape down two little spaghetti straps and then there's your flapper girl and you know it's a lot of fun because it has a lot of movement and we give you a feather in your hair and then you can have a little flapper, flapper costume wouldn't that be fun so okay but you can do whatever you thought because you can do just about anything with this. You could even be the Milky Way. You could be anything. So I have one more fabric to show you. Or maybe two or three. You never know. Let's 
see which one. Ooh. Look at this one. So look at this. What do you think of when you think of this? Like if I showed you this fabric, what's the first thing you think of? See all the colors and all the blends? Isn't this cool? You know what this reminds me of? I'll give you a hint. Starts with N and ends with Emo. Nemo! Don't you think it could be a coral reef? And we could make you a coral reef costume? And you could get little Nemos? <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? And that's basically how we make costumes for little kids. And for young kids, like y'all. So we have a couple of other things here too. We have pretty garden fabrics for like a garden party. We have like, for you boys, you young men out there, we have fabrics that could be sharks. Ooh, look at this shark fabric. Ooh, watch. Oh, here comes a shark. So you know what? Anybody can make a costume, anybody. No matter what age you are, it's the simplest thing in the world. Because all fabric starts out as flat as this paper. And you know, we're not flat. So what happens is, you can take a piece of paper, and you can take a mannequin, or take yourself, and you can just wrap that fabric to your size. And then if you put a little piece of tape on there, put another little piece of tape on there, and get your parents to help you, you could even duct tape a costume together. And what it is, is you're just forming a piece of paper, a flat piece of fabric, to fit a round shape. And that's, the costuming is very, very easy. I love it, it's so much fun. And you know what, you can also just learn to sew. You don't necessarily have to make costumes because sewing can take on all sorts of directions. You can sew a pillowcase, you can sew a kitty cat bed or a doggy bed, and all it is is putting two flat pieces of fabric together and putting some stuffing in it and it becomes 3D. You know what 3D is? That means there's more than just two sides. Isn't that cool? When I sit down to sew, that's when my creativity starts. And I start thinking about, hmm, how do I solve this problem of turning a corner on a piece of fabric? And it's just like using math, but it's art. And it's amazing the things that will come into your mind. And it's good to tell someone, you know what I just thought of? I would love to make some curtains for my doggy house. Or I would love to make, you know, a little wash rag with kitty cats on them. Wouldn't that be fun? So, when I was growing up, my grandmother lived across the street from me. And she used to sew all these dresses. But she would sew like sun, going to Sunday school dresses and, and church dresses. And she's the one that taught me how to sew. So if, if any of you boys and girls are interested in learning how to sew, number one thing is find someone who knows how and ask them, can you show me how to sew? And it is so much fun for a lot of us. And you can learn to design, you can learn to sculpt, you can learn to drape. There is just so many aspects of fiber making, sewing, costumes, my favorite because we have a chance to wear them all the time down here. We're so lucky. And uh, you can find a nice little machine and all you need to do is figure out the steps to put it together. You First you get an idea, then you think about how you're going to make that idea come together. And then you figure out what's the best fabric for this fabric idea, for this costume idea. And then you find that fabric, you get your measurements, you get someone to help you 
put it on and duct tape it around or if you have someone who knows how to use a sewing machine help you sew it when you have your idea get someone to write it down for you and then maybe you sketch it you can draw even use a paper doll put a paper doll underneath a sheet of paper and draw a costume over it look I kind of cheat too see there's my paper dolls and I just put a sheet of paper over it and I, and I can draw costumes right over that little paper doll. It's called a croquis in French. A human form. So let's say you have an idea and you really want to make something. What I would do is I would ask someone to print off a couple of forms. They're called human forms called croquis. Draw your costume over. So what you do is you get print these out and then you can get a sheet of paper and put over them and you trace over them. That way you get the, the human perspective and the sizes. So right now I'm going to make this guy an action figure. Okay? I'm going to make him up. I'm going to make him like this cool, private eye, super duper bad guy. That's my dog. So I'm going to give him some goggles that he can see in the dark. And then I'm going to give him a face mask because he's going into the dungeons. Then what we have to do is get him a nice protected helmet so he doesn't hurt himself if things start falling. This you can buy. This you can make out of the uh, glasses, upside down glasses, and then everyone has face masks. And then what you do is you just start to draw. You want a really cool coat. And you see how cool this is when you use a form underneath it? A private eye, but a, one with big pockets for you to hold your flashlights and your tape measure. And then you can have pockets here for pencils and things. And then you get a big old belt that kind of shows people that also has a spotlight in it. And then you can get cool pants and big old boots. Look how cool that is just to make a, a nice, you know, that way if you step on an alligator or something, it can't bite you or, or something really scary when you're down in the dungeons of some place. And then there's your shoes. And then when, she, when he gets down there, he might see a woman who's being held hostage. So that would be like a princess girl. And here we go. First thing we do is she's been captured <laughs> and so she gets to have a princess dress because it's a little dirty because she's down in the dungeons but he's going to rescue her so she gets a nicey, nice pretty little dress you see how you can make up stories while you're making costumes and then she gets a pretty little dress and she's about to get rescued by the super guy and she has a little crown to show everyone that she was a princess Look how easy that is. Then you can pick out colors and color, but you could make your own paper dolls. And this is basically you're designing your own make-believe costume. And then maybe one day you could actually sew it. Isn't that cool? So here we have an idea on making a glitter shiny bear for next Mardi Gras. Wouldn't this be fun? So what I have is I have a box of shiny things. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to see how I can make this bear come alive with shiny glitter things. And he is going to be the toast of Mardi Gras. I have a whole box of fun things. You can make little glitter sequins. You can have stars put on your costume. You can have butterflies. Now I have a surprise for y'all. I have a costume that I'm just finishing. I can show you how we made this idea come to life. 
So here's how we make an idea come to life. Here's a drawing. It's a princess dress. And here is the princess dress. You see how we picked out the colors? How we put stones? We made it shiny? So there's nothing you can't make if you put your mind to it. Keep creating! For the project that we are going to do, you will need a pair of scissors, a white piece of paper, a pencil, or some crayons to decorate, and we're going to be thinking about the concepts artist, imagination, and a fashion designer. So gather those supplies and we will get started on making a project ourselves. Suzanne Bro thought about things like what it means to be an artist, how to use your imagination, and how to become a fashion designer. So we are going to practice drawing a form of a person, and then we are going to use thin white paper to go over that form and draw some clothing. So you can use either a pencil or a marker. You can start first with the pencil until you're happy with it and then trace it over with a marker. So what we want to do is just create the shape of a person's head. And this can be a very simple form of a person. If your teacher can print out the form of a person, that's great too. And you can pause the video and use that form. If not, let's create one of our own. So we have the head and we're imagining it without any hair really because we can draw hair later and we want a circular shape for the head and we want the neck so make it come straight down for the neck and we want some shoulders and we're doing the outline of a person so their hands can come their arms come down and you can do a simple curve for their hands and go up again for the arm do this nice and slowly, and if you need to erase, you, you can erase with your pencil. And then, this is the shape of the body coming down, and we're going to have legs. And once again, a nice curved shape for the feet. Simple curved shape for the other foot. And go up, and we're gonna do a curve for the hands, and around for the shoulders. It does not have to be perfect, but it is shaped like a person. So that when we put our form, when we put our piece of paper on top of it, we can draw, just like Suzanne did, a piece of clothing. If you happen to have a marker, you can outline your form with the marker and you'll be able to see even better the shape of a person under the white paper. If you cannot see through your white paper, that is okay. Just have fun drawing some clothing with us. So put your paper down. There's a simple form of a person. And we're going to now imagine what we can draw. What if we draw a hat on his head? A nice big hat with a band around the hat. What if we want him to have glasses? There are glasses designers out there. You might design glasses yourself. And now we come down and we're going to imagine should he wear a suit? A suit is very straight lines in fashion, blocky, good, that looks good, and the suit can have where the buttons go in the front, and we can give him pants, straight down, and a belt, and some shoes. You could do a bow or not. Good. Let's do another one. Fashion design is about coming up with ideas 
very quickly. What if we wanted this person to have a short sleeved ball gown? There is a dress shape. She can have patterns coming down in the front and you would design all of this later. And what if the patterns came all the way down across the dress with some lace on the bottom? And then her arms and the head. And what if you wanted to have a crown on top of her head? You can design earrings. You can design whatever you might want to. Good. Let's do another one. I just want you to use as many pieces of paper as you can and draw on top of this form. Let's just do a jacket. And we want it to have really good shoulders and we want it this time to be long sleeves. And what if when we're doing this jacket, it's a winter jacket, so it's got a zipper. But what if we wanted to show that we needed it to be red? You can color it in, and then the designer would know that this jacket was going to be, this, look, this looks more pink. So you can use the form of the person and come up with any design that you might have in your mind. Using your imagination to make an idea in your mind come to life. What if we wanted the top of the jacket to have a blue collar and blue cuffs? Blue along the bottom, isn't this cool? That is a great way to get your ideas out on the page. What if we wanted to do one last one and we wanted to do a sweater? So put a piece of paper over where the sweater would go. That would be the, t the upper body. And what if we wanted it to be a ski sweater so we could give it a bigger neck, make it come down and have nice cozy cuffs and come up, cuffs go around the wrist, and here's the bottom of the sweater. And what if this sweater had diamonds that went all the way around this shape? And what if we wanted the diamonds to be green I want you to just have fun imagining all kinds of things. If you would like to draw what I am drawing, please do. You can change the colors if you want to. And if you have your own ideas, please do your own ideas as well. What if I wanted it to have a pink collar, pink cuffs, I want to see what you can come up with second grade. And what if I wanted the sweater to be blue with green diamonds? This is a great way to make a design. Color in your sweater. thinking about all the cool things that Miss Suzanne Bro made and all the ways you can learn from her and make some of your own designs. Great work. Good job, second grade. I hope you had a lot of fun going on the field trip. And for those of you interested in fashion design and being a fiber artist, I hope this sparked some imagination and some creativity for you today. 
I am so happy you joined me. And until next time, keep making art.